Okay, so now what we're going to basically do is just uh, put in the salsa. The salsa we're using is a La Cocina Green Mexican Salsa Medium. Uh, you can find this at Walmart. That's where I picked it up at. It's the best green uh, salsa I've added that I've ever had. I mean, it's just wonderful. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll put this salsa on there. Uh, we're going to use basically the whole bottle for the whole uh, uh, pan. So we'll start going across right here. Don't be shy to putting it on there. I had already put some of uh, the leftover chicken and some of the leftover white cheese on top. And we're drenching this with the salsa. The best thing to do is to put as much as you can because you want it to be nice and moist, not dried out. Okay. Got all the salsa on there. Yes, it does smell very good. Alright, we got the salsa on there. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is put the cheese. And what we're using is finely shredded Kobe and uh, Monterey Jack cheese. Great value, Walmart type. Cheapest chips, dude. Go with the cheap route. Don't need to get all fancy and everything. Unless you got the big bucks like Jip, you know. So we'll go ahead and I'm using a whole bag to the whole tray. And we don't want to skimp out on the cheese either because the cheesier the better. Oh, that's looking good. Looking good. Basically all we used here guys was just three chicken breasts that were boiled up with some spices of just garlic, pepper and salt. Uh, we used a bottle of salsa per tray. We also used some of the white cheese uh, that I bought and just grated. Uh, you really don't need to use this if you don't want to. You can actually add more of the regular cheese into it with the chicken inside the tortilla. I use this because I really love this type of cheese. Uh, from there, we just uh, we just bought the pan, uh, the tortillas, wrapped them up, ready to go. It's cheap, very economical, and it's the easiest way to make salsa verde uh, enchiladas. Uh, hope you enjoy them, and we're going to go ahead and pop them into the oven right now, which is at, uh, preheating at 350 degrees. Uh, we're going to put them in for about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how the cheese is. We want it nice and melted. And once we got that nice and melted, it'll be time to eat. How oh, pretty. Alright, so that should be it. And I'll go ahead and I'll take some more pictures once they come out. And I hope you try it out and hope you enjoy it. Thank you.